So I got to send healing tones out, man. I got to send healing tones out to those that are hurt. Anybody that's suffering a loss. Rest in power to my good friend, Trob. Big Reg, rest in power. Condolences to the whole double I family out there in New Jersey. NJ Soup, Big Tretch, Naughty by Nature. Healing tones for Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx, get well, my brother. Russ, what up, man? Russ, what up, man? What up? I just saw you out of just, um, I got your man here, Zach. <clears throat> I'm supposed to teach him to meditate, but he's late. So. Oh, man. And I, I just popped on Instagram and saw you. You're making fun of Reggie or something. How that oh, make no, 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 not making fun. I had fun with Reggie. I had fun with Reggie. Do you know, Russ, this is like 24 years old? And, and, and his overalls has the Fat Farm, still has the Fat Farm logo on it. <laughs> well, <laughs> time flies. How you doing, big brother? I'm blessed, my brother. Um, I, I, I wish I was there with you because uh, uh, my, my good friend Pooch is telling me how beautiful it is there. And oh man, and, um, and and God bless him, man. He 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 was diagnosed with stage four cancer, and he is um, taking a trip around the world right now. And one of the things he asked me, he said, "Man, I just want to meditate and do yoga with Russell." Well, tell him to come on. Meanwhile, two hours later. I'm going to be here. I have to go back to America uh, for about six weeks in May. I'm not sure what date yet. But one of the things, obviously, is to be with my daughters who are graduating. So I'm very proud of them. And then I got a bunch of business and stuff. But I'll come right back after. Lynn and Light are coming here soon. I just did a tribute video for MC Light. She's being celebrated again. Oh, congratulations. She deserved every... Accolade oh, possible. All the flowers, all the time. She deserves it. So, yeah, he's welcome to come. I mean, look, I built this place for healing. Uh, in fact, there's a center that has been revered for having cured stage four cancer, but it's holistic. And, you know, they don't like to take on clients who um, they don't want to drag them out of the treatments they're on. But they have really, I've met at least five people who've been saved. So it's high dose of vitamin C, like extraordinarily high and some other stuff. I mean, obviously, I can't talk about the treatment uh, in any detail, but there is that. And we have a holistic center for people who, are, you know, have diabetes or any life-threatening uh, things that we can reverse. And as you know, if you look at Dr. Sebi's work and, and look at that, you guys styles p and m and pharmacy for life black people are already moving faster than everyone else towards the remedies that we've had for thousands of years but have been suppressed by the pharmaceutical industry it was interesting that the styles p guy uh, him and jada kiss own this company pharmacy with an f for life you probably know mm -hmm. right doing tremendous business and giving people the natural herbs they need to prevent and to to uh rebuild, re prevent disease, and rebuild those who have gotten disease from the sickness that we're feeding ourselves. So they're, it's big. It was interesting because they came here and they were talking about all the remedies they had, you know, sour soap and sea moss and, you know, black seed oil and all these things. We're growing all the same shit on our property. What's interesting also is that here we are, black people, way ahead of the curve using these products. And they came from, you know, not only Dr. Sebi, but their fame, a big part of it, because Sebi was demonized, and then we realized the work he was doing, and, and many American nutritionists know that all that stuff is obviously great efficacy, a lot of research on it. Interesting that the Balinese scripture, the herbalist that we have that lives on this property, that grows the natural herbs on this property, has the same herbs.
from her scriptures that are named differently in some cases. So the same herbs in Asia are the same herbs in Jamaica are the same herbs that are in scriptures that are healing and being suppressed by pharmaceuticals. So anyway, so maybe if he's or anyone wants to come and rebuild their lives, they can come here and I mean, doctor, you know, interesting, Ben Vereen, the famous dancer came here. And Ben Vereen came and he likes telling the story. He was, had been drinking and he was in a wheelchair. Uh, he stayed here, they named him Uncle Wyan. He fell in love with the spirituality and the culture. And on New Year's Eve, he stood up and sang for the first time in three years. Now he's performing on a tour. He spent six or seven weeks here. Wow. And he's buying a property. But he, he was going to a static dance when he left. And he was never you know, debilitated in that way, but he was really a little fucked up. And he likes to talk about it, so it's not a secret when I say that. Also, your girl Taraji will tell you her life was changed dramatically by her five or six weeks here. So, you know, we've, we're just starting to heal people. And that's really, that's it. That's why we're here, to heal others. So that's what we're doing. Chugging along. I'll be back in, when I'm in America, I'm going to call you. All right? I was just there for six weeks and I missed you. But I'll be right back. And we'll spend some quality time. Well, we got to talk about hip hop fifty. Absolutely. Yeah, all the absolutely minds of hip hop that have been overlooked, and and what hip hop has done for our culture, and some of the stuff that you know people don't realize that I can share. Well, let me ask you this, because I think that hip hop is older than fifty, to be honest. And well, I, there's a lot of people. Uh, who would say that they would predate uh, the dates that we chose. But it's okay, so long as they all get celebrated. I really do care that people are being overlooked who are founding fathers or masterminds of hip hop. And I wanna make sure that we celebrate them for their children and for their legacies before they check out. Lots of people died who didn't really get the compensation or the credit they deserve. And I wanna make sure that if I can help that this 50 the anniversary we remember to remember those people yeah because history has a weird way of uh re uh, rewriting itself it has already been rewritten and people are still living and watching themselves be carved out and so for me that's a, an issue that's why i support uh, the museum and some of the work rocky's doing but i just want to make sure we share with the world and our history books reflect properly the contributions of some of the stars who actually built hip hop. The Hollywood, the Eddie Achievers, the Love Bug Starsky, Busy B Star, some of these guys don't have the full credit that they deserve. And I hope that we can bring them up and talk about their accomplishments as well. Well, Russell, I know you've got to go, but I want to say one last thing to you. Uh, I got to give you a huge, gigantic. Uh, a uh, bouquet of flowers because if it wasn't for you and your audacity to push the needle to break through and, and to have hip hop be more than just noise to people, um, I really appreciate your courage and your vision because we all, I we all old enough believe. Have, that's all. Had you been there, you would have done anything that I might have done. So thank you for all the work you did, Rob. And I loved all the years we worked together and I love you today. Thank you. I'm off the class. Yeah. Talk to you soon, big bro. I love you. All right. Man. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. You. Love you too, bro. Wow. Let's keep it up for Russell Simmons, ladies and gentlemen.